hello everybody welcome back to uh, Robert's train set um, and I hope you can hear that we do have some trains running of which uh, more of later at the end of the last uh, video which was I believe number 11 um, I said I had big problems um, and I think at the time I didn't actually realise how big they were. So we'll have a little bit on what I now think was the reason for it. And nobody's pointing the finger, are they? But have a look. <laughs> um, and then you'll see a bit of these um, trains going round. And a very um, short view of what iTrains is capable of even on this little bit of inner track that I've um, got going. Um, it's all not perfect, definitely not, but it is running as you can hear. Um, I've got the N7 going. Um, in a way uh, it's a tribute. I, I'm sure you've heard me mention my neighbour next door, my 82 year old neighbour. Very sad week, he unfortunately passed away on Wednesday. Um, but you know, an 82 is a, is a good um, length of life, isn't it, to live. And he, I'm sure he did loads of good teaching his uh, pupils, who, who all seemed to really like him. Um, they come up to him, he, you know, they were coming up when we were up having a drink on a Saturday night. They did go up there. It's not the same when you're by yourself. Anyway, so let's get on with the films and we'll see how we go. Alright everybody? So we will carry on my tea. Well, as you saw, the Jinty didn't really like this joint as it went on to the uh, level crossing. And to cut a, short, a long story short, um, I found that if I bring in something else um, that I cut out... So this was, um, as you might know with this level crossing, it was actually the Hornby double level crossing that I got right at the beginning of uh, starting Robert's train set. And what I'd found was, that's missing, was really loose there. It lost all the shoes, and this one had also lost them a little bit. And that's why we had the big uh, kick-up. Um, and there was actually, it's almost as though it wasn't in the um, fish plate. You know, it was, it was literally a, quite a, a, a different level, as well as being out of line. So, I've actually cut this out. <laughs> I got my tenon saw and actually cut through um, to lose it. So, as you can see now, I've got the bit that was attached to it. I've also got the other bit that was attached to it. But I've put a completely new bit of track in here. So, um, I've put a, a standard um, straight, Hornby straight, in here, and uh, it's all working a lot better now. Um, and as you saw, um, it, they were all running over here nice and smoothly, weren't they? So I'm going to go very briefly into into the woes I've had this week, um, because I'm sure you'd rather see the trains running. And um, here we have the Hornby um, signals, uh, either go or stop. <laughs> and you'll see this one later on. Um, and also the one over by the other platform. So what was the problem? Um, although I've got no film of it because I was really taken aback. Um, this light kept to going. Um, if I changed it to green, it would go back to red um, every time. And various points. Uh, this one, I think, and that one there. And if I pan along slowly, this one here into the siding area they would just keep 
changing back so I change it and then it would click back so really strange I was thought it was something to actually do with the decoders um, which I showed you didn't I in number 11 um, and yes it was um, but I do feel a bit silly uh, at the mistake I made and I think I've discovered what I initially thought was I'd done something when I did the um, level crossing where I cut through I might have damaged the wire now if you don't know about Robert's train set it used to be down in the dining room on the uh, dining room table um, and it also came apart so when I did all the points for this um, I used to take the connections through to the edge of the board um, and I also used to put the, the decoder boxes on the outside because obviously the table was in the way so that's how I managed to do it and the decoder boxes on that particular section operated the stuff that was on that section so there were four sections or five sections so so forth so what I decided to do and I'm glad I've done it is I've now taken a lot of that wiring away well nearly all of it and I will show you a little pile of what I, <laughs> I took off um, and I've rewired a lot of it most of it in fact um, with the cable that I've got so um, I'm a lot happier but later on I was get it was fusing every time I turned the system on it would fuse absolutely um, it could not get it to run but occasionally it would and then for instance I got it sorted one night and quite happy went to um, up for a drink by myself after Malcolm had passed away and I thought great so I came up in the morning to sort of start something out and it fused again um, so all I could do basically was to take if I disconnected the buzz wires it would light up and fire up obviously couldn't control anything um, so in the end I took disconnected every um, decoder box point decoder box and reinstalled them one at a time to see which one was the problem but I think the problem was me um, when I put them on I got a bit slipshoddy shall we say and I didn't make sure I was connecting the red to the same terminal on the decoder boxes when you do it on Hornby there's an A there's an A and a B and also you use those clips so they do A and a B and I did that religiously when I did I just lost it on this and just thought I'd done it but obviously not so I stripped all the wires apart so I could see where they came from on the buzz wire and then put them in and it all worked lovely as you saw so why that point doesn't switch I don't know but I don't think anything to do with the decoder box well that might be I don't know so uh, there we are so I'm just going to take you off and then we're going to finish this bit up I think but it was doing my head in it really was um, you wouldn't have wanted to be here with some of the language I use I don't think um, but you know this is this is what we get isn't it and, we, and I've sorted and you'll see in a minute what it's doing now so great so we'll just have a look at the the other bits that I've done just to overcome some of the bits I found in the decoder boxes so, um, in the course of trying to sort all this out I did I was a bit dubious to use the setting there were four uh, positions on each decoder box so you have four items lights or points and when I reconnected some of these they still played up so I was a bit uh, dubious and I still am really so to overcome the lack of uh, points to connect I've actually done something that really I should have done a lot earlier is with these crossovers so the one here and I'll uh, show you the others and the one here and if I pan around slowly The one there and we'll go a bit further down the layout so we've come from that one and we're going to come down here and even this one so what have I done to them I've made them the same number on the point motors so when I switch one the other one changes because after all you can't use one without the other can you so 
And that, as you can imagine, has saved me four positions on the decoder boxes, which is a result. And I did think of doing this one here, which is the swap over, but I've decided not to because I might want to get a, a small train stopped at this station. Um, not the one in the corner, the one that would be there when I put it back, but still one train's passed on the outside line. So on this outside line here. So the train could stop there, probably the 121 that you're going to see in a minute. And uh, yeah, it'd be good. As you can see, sitting on the floor here, <laughs> before it goes in the bin, although I might uh, just go through it and see if some of it's it's all the old wiring I've taken out, and I just used bits of this and bits of that, and you know, I wasn't too worried. I hadn't bought any cable, so just used what I had. So this is all in the scrap heap now. And I thought, um, just to finish, another view under the layout. Um, and I think I've got even more wires now, because I've obviously redone all these uh, decoder boxes. But what I have taken this opportunity to do is to extend some of the wires so that they're a lot easier to do work on. Um, as I said, they were all up the end, all up the sides, and I've even put timbers in the way of them when I put them up here. So it was, I'm not unhappy that I've had to do this, but it, um, I didn't enjoy it at the time, especially as it kept fusing all the time. So I think it's now time to go and see the proper trains. So, um, before I show you the running of the trains on the actual track, um, this is the program I've got set up. Now, I've, I've uh, gone in and just showing the two inner tracks, which are the only two that are really working, and all the, all the uh, sidings. And you can see that on here there are actually um, five trains on the layout. Um, and bearing in mind the whole idea of uh, doing this was to try and get six to run on the layout, the whole layout, I don't think it's too bad. Um, yes, they are shorter trains than I would normally run. Um, and I do feel if I'm going to do auto running um, at a certain stage, they will need to be shorter because I've not got a lot of track. But anyway, as you can see, they're going around. And as I've said before, if it goes yellow, um, it means they're going to wait when they get there. Um, and I've tried to do this in the stations that obviously aren't on, but I hope you can remember where they were and you can see where they are on here, can't you? So, as you can see, they're travelling round. It's sensing where they are and doing what it needs to do. So let's go and have a look at the trains now, shall we? So let's start with Malcolm's N7, shall we? My old neighbour there, who can remember travelling on these. Um, and this is just doing a small goods, which we saw on the table downstairs, didn't we, if you remember? So uh, we've only got a few. Now he's stopped in the station. Perhaps it's a driver change, I doubt it. Perhaps he wants some sandwiches or a cup of tea. And as you can see on the track the opposite side is a small passenger train. So we'll let the little goods go. And although I've not repaired the Jinty or haven't found out what's wrong with it, it doesn't seem to be running here too badly, although it can stutter as you saw on the points there. So I do need to investigate. And that's now running up to Valentine's uh, Junction. Valentine Junction and it's just waiting to be allowed to carry on as the train previous uh, pulls away. So... There's a Jinty coming into the station to stop. And I would ascertain that it's about level with the end of the platform there. And as you can see, the goods has got round and is now stopping on the western uh, station there. We're coming into shot now, following up the goods as the Jinty runs the way. Is the 121. And it's now waiting for the goods to get out the way.
and again drop, stop in to drop off passengers and these can stop between any any amount of time between five seconds and 10 or 15 seconds and as you see pulling out from behind now is the class 68 with the cross-country uh, carriages I've only got the sound on to the N7 because otherwise I think it would be quite noisy but I'm really enjoying being able to just film the trains without having to control them So as the 121 pulls out of the station at uh, Valentine's Junction, I follow it round to Roberts Hall. And this is the South Station. So it should stop, and it does. But if I go a bit wider, if you notice the signal is at red. Watch what happens. There we are. The signals are working automatically. At least that one is. So we'll now go to another one and I'll show you that. So here we have the N7 goods waiting patiently at the signal that is red. If I can get there. There we are. Now very strangely, as it stops at the station, and I could stop it doing this if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Hopefully, when it's time for the N7 to depart, the signal changes to green, which is weird. But the train coming up to it, which is the 121, if it went through it would crash into the back. So I think this signal actually needs to be at the end of the Valentine Junction West. Very strange. So as the, uh, the Jinty um, comes to a halt, waiting for the train in front to move on, in the engine shed, as would be if there was a building there, is the 4MT tank. And I have this on a completely different um, program to the other four. And when I set it off, it should come out of here and basically go into the terminal station um, of which you can see the buffer stop over to the right hand side with the lights on which is I'm glad I've got that it's a very good indication the layout is working Well, as you can see the 4MT is making its way out the uh, sidings area and all the points have set and it's now got to head into the terminal station and this is the only problem I've got at the moment meanwhile on the outer track here it's got a pause So it's not stopped, it's just pausing where it's been asked to as the 68 goes past slowly. Here we go again.
Now I'm going to have to change this point into the siding because it just does not change. I don't know why. But it will change back. Or will it? I probably asked it not to now. <laughs> don't know. So here we go. So now all the other trains are starting up and all the points have changed back so that they can do their runs. But we do seem to have a 101. Uh, that's because somebody didn't turn the point back, didn't somebody? As you can see, the 4MT is making its way out the uh, sidings area, and all the points have set, and it's now got to head into the terminal station, and this is the only problem I've got at the moment. Meanwhile, on the outer track, here it's got a pause. So it's not stopped, it's just pausing where it's been asked to as the 68 goes past slowly. Here we go again. Now I'm going to have to change this point into the siding because it just does not change. And I don't know why. But it will change back. Or will it? I probably asked it not to now. <laughs> don't know. So oh, here we go. So now all the other trains are starting up and all the points have changed back so that they can do their runs. But we do seem to have a 101. Ah, uh, that's because somebody didn't turn the point back, didn't somebody? Hopefully you get, <clears throat> but hopefully you get the idea. So I think um, I think we'll call it a day on this now. But I'm really fascinated watching them do what they want to do. And in fact, look, 